Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. This is video four of the Windows Server 2022 playlist. So in this video, we're going to be talking about file servers and we're going to install Windows File Server. And pretty much what we're going to do is configure this, get it on the domain, put an IP address on it. And then in the next video, we're going to be installing the admin center so we can administer our whole Windows environment. Okay, so just before we do that, just a little education behind it. What are things you should know right, about a file server? What can a file server do? We can manage files and folders on the server. We can do permission management, which is used to see who can you know, access the files, who has rights to edit, modify, delete folders and files, et cetera, right? So we can also do file locking. So file locking can stop multiple users from editing the same file at the same time. And you can also install what's called DFS, Distributed File System. What you can do here, we can make multiple copies, we can make that data redundant, high, uh, HA, high, highly available, by copying it to multiple servers in different locations. So say for example, if I have a server in New York, if I have a server in Florida, and I wanna you know, serve files to someone in China, and if we're all, uh, a part of the same domain. We can set that up so you know we can make that multiple copies to all three servers and it's still it's still serving the same file, right? And, and we'll get into that a little later on, but that's just an overview of what we can do with a file server. All right, so things we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change the host name. I installed, I already installed um, the server. So we didn't have to sit there and install the same thing. We learned how to install a server, so it's the same thing. So we're gonna make the host name win 22 fs one which stands for file server 01. We're gonna make the IP address 192.168.199.101. We're gonna join it to my infosecpat.com domain. And then obviously we're gonna do the preliminary stuff. Enable RDP, change the... Uh, change the time zone, do all that good stuff. And then we're gonna reboot it and test everything. And uh, from there will be finito. Okay, let's open up that file server. Do this in full screen. Perfect. So let me actually do a display setting really quick because this is super, super small. I know it's 100% recommended. Let's do 125 so we got a little more room to see. All right, so we can open up our local server. This, like I said, this is a brand new server. I just, I just installed it. So we have to change the time zone, for example. We can change the time zone. I wanna go ahead and change the time zone to Eastern because I'm in Florida. Okay, so that's the, did it change? Yep, all right, the second thing we can do is change our computer name. Let's go ahead and change this to win. 2-2-F0-F0-1. Let's go ahead and hit OK here. And we can close this. Restart later, because we're still gonna have some stuff to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this, let's go ahead and enable RDP. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and give this an IP address so we can communicate with our domain controller. Let's disable IPv6 and go to IPv4. And if you remember, 192.168.199.101, 192.168.199.1 is my gateway in my, in my case. And our preferred DNS server is gonna be our domain controller. So wanna make sure we point to that. So in my case, it's 192.199.100. And then I wanna put 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. For now, right? If we install a secondary DC at some point, we'll point that to the secondary. Okay, but we only have one domain controller, one DNS server in our environment at the moment. Perfect. So let's go ahead and refresh this. See, we have everything set up. Okay, we have this enabled. Okay, perfect. 
Everything looks good. I want to go ahead and turn this off too. New sense, just in case we have to do some stuff. But um, let's go ahead and reboot. And then we'll, we should see uh, win22-fs01 as our computer name. And then what we'll do is join this to the domain. Then we'll reboot again. I didn't put all those steps in, but you guys get the gist. All right, so let's go ahead and just do a quick Control alt delete and log into our server. Perfect. Now, once this, once the server manager opens, we should see all the configuration that we just did to make sure the host name is good. See, uh, try managing, you can X out of here because we're gonna be installing that very shortly. Not in this video, but soon. We're going to be installing a server, ma um, server manager, not admin center. Sorry. So, so our computer name now is there. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and just change our work group. You know, there's some preliminary stuff that we can do. Let's do it. Let's open up a let's open up PowerShell. Okay. Make this bigger, and we can just ping. Uh, 192.98.199.100, just to make sure we're able to communicate with it. Perfect, we are communicating with it. The next thing we can do is do an NS lookup. Actually, we can just ping. Um, and we can see that we can, you can see it. So win 22 dc onefosecpatcom Perfect, awesome. So we can exit out of here now. Exit wrong, I'll put exit E. Okay, we can exit out of that. And now we can go ahead and hit work group. We're gonna go ahead and click change on the computer name. And then where it says member of, we're gonna go ahead and hit domain. In my case, it's infosecpat.com. Whatever you made your domain, go ahead and just put that there. And it should prompt you because it's, if it doesn't prompt you, if you're getting an error here, there's probably something wrong with your DNS settings. Just make sure, like I said, do it NS lookup, make sure you can see the domain. And if you can, if you're still getting this error, if you get an error, just make sure in your next settings, your preferred DNS is pointing to your domain. Because that's the that, that's a common mistake and common thing that sysadmins or anyone that's learning forgets. Okay. So I want to go ahead and just log in here. Okay, so when you put your credentials, it says, welcome to the InfoSec Pat domain. Fantastic. Go ahead and hit close and then reboot. So while that's rebooting, what we can do is open up our, open up our domain controller. Where is our DC? Oh, DC, yeah, this is, I think, I think this did. Go ahead and. Yeah, I, have to, I just have to rename that. I want to rename that right when we're done. Because Win22 fresh install, I have to get confused. So I just have to rename that. So if I open up Active Directory users or computers, full screen this bad boy. And if we have Active Directory users and computers open, if we go to our domain and go to computers, we should see our domain. I mean, our file server in there. Best practice, obviously, we can create organizational units. And we're not going to do that in this video, but we will get to that later on. And what organizational units are, like this DC is in an organizational unit. As you see, this little, little guy here, or little folder looking thing. And you have these are just containers, right? This is just a container. This is an organizational unit. And you see all the users, and we can we can go ahead and create users later and all that stuff. But in this video, we just wanted to get the uh, get the file server joined to the domain, and then next we're gonna go ahead and install Admin Center. Okay, so hopefully this has been informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the description below, and I'll get to it as soon as I can.
Thank you so much and thank you for viewing.